Very quickly, start over here and everybody introduce yourself. Yes, I'm Pupa Curly. Hello. <laughs> Lay back. Yo, MC Breeze. <laughs> 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 woof, woof. Why, Cam? Yo, I be double you and with my crew and yo yo's in the house. with Cam, because we mentioned his name earlier, um, you were very much a part of uh, what's going on in the neighborhood right now, the peace treaty, etc. Any message to the brothers out there now? Just basically to keep the peace, because um, it's already, you know, been established. It's just a matter of getting it perfected. And it's a lot of, you know, agents out there that, that want to, you know, keep us divided, even from the, you know, the Chicano brothers, from the blacks, you know, but it's all, it's all coming together. So, you know, as long as we keep faith and stay positive and stay righteous, you know, it's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yo, yo. Why don't you speak on how this man influenced you? <laughs> well, he's influenced me a lot. I think not only me, but a lot of young rappers that's coming up um, today and a lot of people. My mother, he's influenced, you know, back in the, my mother's days. And I think he's just the funkiest man. He has the, the funkiest band. And smell my finger. <laughs> Here's another quote I have. Now, this one's yours. Being freaky is a defense mechanism against the world being so scary. Yeah, well, you know, you can't go around being on the stage all the time. And a lot of entertainers get caught up in trying to be on stage after this show. So I just be freaky to satisfy everybody's, uh, you know, you know, concern. What is he about? And I ain't got to worry about entertaining nobody. I forget I look like this. <laughs> I used to do hair, so you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Flea, I'm afraid to ask you a question, man. <laughs> oh, that's my boy over there. I'd be most respectful and considerate and polite with you. <laughs> Why don't you just talk, man? I ain't gonna ask you nothing. Just talk to the people. All right, you know, everybody. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Heteros and homos. Uh, I'm just happy to be here today. I'm happy and I feel honored and lucky to play with George. George Clinton, P-Funk, you know, I played the most spiritually uplifting music to affect my life and, uh, you know, just like rappers sample his music, I steal his riffs, you know? Hello. And, uh, I, you know, it's the most influential music on my uh, musical existence. And I, you know, I truly, it's like George... But you play like a brother, man. I remember on the old late show, I was like, who is this? Smell his finger. Blonde. Smell his finger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Smell like Bootsy's case. <laughs> yes, indeed. Mm. Oh, um, let, let me... <laughs> Let me go back to you for a second. Of all the people he talked about sampling, all the people that have sampled you, what's your favorite? Well, I don't have no favorite, man. I, I can get into all music, but sampling, I mean, there's a lot of people out there doing good. Public Enemy kills me because you can't recognize the samples. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's really doing it to death when you, get, when you can't recognize it. But then they have also made looping a positive thing. So I like it all, man. Now, it's getting explain me out of, looping. But it, it, well, that's the long samples. Those are mm -hmm. the ones where you hear the whole... You know, all around the world, mm. that's a big sample there. Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's not a snippet, that's a big one. But di uh, Digital Underground is good at that. Yeah. You know, so I like all of it, man. Yeah. It helped me get out of from under the internal revenue. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. I, did, I did get paid from BMI.